You didn't ask where she lived. What's her salvation? Did she know the laws? Hello, a savior. No question. But you tell me why? Child care. I look at her and say, no, follow me. Jesus. I shut it down. That's a word. That's a word. That's a word. I say, no. You don't bring in that baby in that daycare. You're not doing this. I said, let's go. Don't know her. Then even if she lived down the street. No. She was with her mom. Walked to her. Talk her. Hug her. We exchanged numbers. But the change. Start visualizing. What? We're walking with those dead cloths. Now she had to go near to the steps. Start taking those things off her. Yes. Come on, use your God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He said, Lazarus, come, on. come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. She's walking the house of God and no one told her. Come out of those dead clothes. Thank you, Lord. I don't want to say that to her. Use it. Use it, God. We walk in church. We're sitting down with all this smell on us. But people won't say nothing. Yes, 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 yes. They leave you right the way you are. Yes, 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 yes. Some of the ashes don't want to bother. Come on. Stop. The devil's alive. Come on. Because if she's wearing Louis, she's wearing Gucci. User, she's wearing know. something sharp. You're going to go and smile at her. This is the mental thing we do. Let her look sharp. You're going to be right sitting next to her and want to be friends with her and wonder how she did it, how she getting this, how she. Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Expose the lie. Expose the lie. Religious me. Without Everybody got to have their church hat on. Uh-oh, there we go. There it is. If my ribbon is bigger than yours, you're going to wonder where is Deacon Tumpet is. So you can go ahead and have the same size of ribbon. Jesus, come on. You're good. When you really get a change, you got to really read that scripture. You really got to read John 11. Yes. That wasn't my plan yesterday to teach on John 11. Thank you, Lord. You're going to say I'm crazy. It wasn't. I have no scripture here says John 11. Everything is here is totally different. Yes. Galatians. Let the Holy I was going to teach on Esther. Let the Holy Ghost use you. Come on, come on. Let the Holy Ghost use you. It's right here. That paper stand right on the same spot. I didn't make it. How long we're gonna walk with those dead clothes on? Come on. How long we're gonna be in bondage? Spiritual bondage. Preach. Our heart is. Come on, come on, come on. It's right. Sometimes when people walk in the house of God, we can be confused about something else or mongrels. I heard the woman of God saying yesterday, she said, I had no clue. This was the young lady who was getting the stuff for her. Come on, you're preaching good. She went and got her bed, basket on top of basket. Just all week, we were texting, calling, just going back and going back. She had no clue, but she stuck to the young lady and said, make sure you come. Make sure you come. Don't miss the woman fellowship. For not knowing it's for her. She had no idea. But she was walking while the love of Christ. The agape love. Come on. You know, she had to remember when she was on that Lazarus mommy. Come on, when she didn't have anything. Come on, when she had those stinking clothes on. When she had all these things was attached to her. There was addiction, the pain, the broken heart, the abuse, physical.
physical, mental abuse. It was on her. So she just put her her body went right into that young lady that she don't know. She does she didn't know who she was. Her spirit jumped right to it. And she said, I've been there. But it was worse than you. What she said. She jumped right to her. So she said and she said, oh, that's the young lady. Come on. She had no idea. No idea. No idea who. Not in the natural, but in the spirit. The spirit was already connected. Come on, come on, come on. Because she already knew her story. Because she knows she went to that Lazarus month. I'm sitting there saying, she didn't know who she was buying all that stuff for. She had no clue. She just went to the furniture store and tried to get all that stuff. We were texting yesterday when it's 6 o'clock in the morning. And she still had no clue. Come on. And nobody told me God is not here. She said, I've been with those stinking off and on. And I'm going to make sure that you're not carrying yours anymore. This is going to come off of you. I am my sister keeper. Come on, I'm not with you. And I'm not going to leave you. In the house of God. With smelling clothes on. Come on, preach. With dead clothes on. Preach. I told you. When we. Did you hear that word? Oh, yes. When we walk together. When we stand together and hold on to each other's hand, this is what we did yesterday. Did anybody remember? Yeah. Amen. I see everybody's names. Some people put a little fashion on this. <laughs> a little mark on there. <laughs> But look at what God had put it together. It's all different colors. <laughs> we all, like what the woman of God said, different color, different shade. But look at how it's together. Look how powerful this is. Yeah. Do you guys, yesterday when we was praying together, did you have any idea it was going to come like that? It was this long... That's right. But you said how yesterday was 